Alrighty, let's see how this thing goes. Hello everyone, I am Her Ladyship Siobhan and Enoch of Connacht of the Middle Kingdom, Barony of Ayrton, and all-around nerd of Irish culture from pre-1000 CE. Um, this is the very first video in what will be an ongoing project on being an Irish Feely Bard. Just a note, I will be using the terms Bard, Feely, and Poet interchangeably throughout at least this first video, and in all honesty, probably throughout the rest of the project, even though technically there are some important differences between those three categories. However, in future videos, I will go into these topics in more depth, but I wanted to give this brief overview at the top, both to give basic info to anyone viewing and to help me set up my video equipment. Uh, the first two times I tried this, basically all you saw was the ceiling. So, for starters, what is a feely? A feely is commonly known as an Irish bard or a poet. Um, while this is true on the surface, this would be like saying a stay-at-home parent is just a parent. Um, it's something very simple sounding on the surface, but in reality is a much deeper role within the society. The feely, to put a simple point on it, were the keepers of knowledge. They knew the laws, they knew the songs, they knew the history, and they knew how to apply all of them within society. They were not just entertainers, they were the advisors to the highest individuals in the land, and in some cases were considered more important than even the local kings themselves. This role was valued very highly in early Irish society. And this is a society that is very highly bound by not just customs, but written, codified laws. Um, we know of this by the history of the written laws, the Brehen laws, um, which codify just about every aspect of life imaginable, as well as some of the roundings, uh, writings surrounding them um, in later times. We don't have much of the Brehen laws themselves anymore, but we do have the writings that people throughout the centuries have made commenting on these laws. Um, some of the documentation for this is based off of those commentary. And I will once again go more in depth into this topic in later videos. So why does this matter for a feely? So in order to become a feely bard, there were at least 12 years of training to reach the highest ranks and you pass through seven ranks during those 12 years. One of the most important aspects of being a Feely Bard was memorization. In the modern day, we've optimized our learning patterns for being able to search through vast quantities of pre-existing data. The internet exists, but we have to be able to determine where the data that we need is within that vast sea of internet. So the ability to conduct a good WorldCat search or Library of Congress search is essential. However, in early Ireland, this was not the case. Um, you weren't just able to take books of data with you from place to place. So the ability to memorize, to have the information in your brain and in your mind ready to recall at a moment's notice was crucial, was as crucial as a good world cat search is today. So in order to graduate to your next year of training, you had to demonstrate that you had a certain number of pieces memorized. This was not the only part of the curriculum by far, but memorization and learning how to memorize things was definitely important. Um, so for example, at the end of your oblate year, your student year, um, which isn't even a rank of a bard, you're just a student, um, in order to graduate to the first rank of bard, you had to have 20 pieces memorized. And in order to become an olav, a master head bard at the end of your training, you had to have 350 pieces memorized. Yes, 350. Now, while we roughly know the numbers needed for each rank, what we do not know is exactly how this was tested. Were these mostly original works? Eh, probably not in all honesty. Maybe some of them, but probably not most of them. Were there specific stories they were expected to know? Again, not certain. Very likely at least some of the key stories, like the Cattle Raid of Cooley, um, were amongst those tested, but 
again, not sure. Um, was this something that was demonstrated all at once in front of a dissertation panel type of thing? Or was it something spread out over time, um, tested in chunks? Again, we just don't know. Which leads to this project and my persona as a Feely Bard. Um, mundanely, like many of us, I have memory challenges. Um, I'm ADHD for starters and songs just slip through my memory um, like fish through water. But I have found that even if I forget a piece shortly after I memorize it for a performance, the very act of memorizing it helps the next time I need to learn it again to perform. And I find that each time I'm faster and faster at my memorization and I'm better and better at my recall. So this leads me to the current project. I am Siobhan and Enig of Connacht, an aspiring Feely. I have been in training as a bard in the SCA for nine years across two kingdoms. I am the SCA child of Mistress Katriana Updian Dick and the apprentice of my foster house, House Sans Nomen. I currently study under Master Kyrian Cantor, who himself was the apprentice of a master bard, Master John Inchingham, who himself was the apprentice of a master bard, Master John Apwin, the first of our line. And I hereby state that I am ready to demonstrate within the confines of my modern memory and the current social distancing and etc. etc. my ability as a bard, a performer, and a feely to perform by memory alone. So here's the, how this project's going to work. I'm going to post videos of me performing pieces completely by memory. Um, this video, for example, does not count because I am using notes um, that I pre-wrote up before, so I'm just not gibbering at you mindlessly, which might be entertaining, but wouldn't serve much purpose. Um, the uh, pieces will be split up across multiple videos. I make no promises as to how often I will release pieces. It's going to highly depend on work and energy and the ability to edit and etc, etc. But I will release them occasionally. Um, each video will contain at least one song, poem, or story, or a piece of information about Irish law, history, and culture. Um, and the stories will attempt to be three or four minutes. Each song or poem will be its discrete unit. Um, each song, poem, story performed will be performed entirely without notes for that video. The videos will be labeled and numbered so that you can track along with me my progress within this project. And at the start of each video, I will put a card as to what stage I'm currently on and what stage I'm aspiring to. Anything not written by me will have attribution down in the, um, in the information for the video, and if I do happen to perform a work, I'm going to try and get the permission of the authors whenever possible. If I do happen to perform a work that you have written and you do not want it to be up, I will remove that video. I will still keep the count though because I will have the, the video in my own archives. Um, I will celebrate reaching different ranks of feeling memorization as well as important modern milestone numbers um, as we get further along with short intermission videos about aspects of early Irish legal customs and life um, as the ability to know the laws was important in early Ireland. They won't necessarily count towards the count um, unless I somehow write it into a poem, um, but it will be pieces of interesting information. And the focus on each video will be memorization as opposed to necessarily giving a top level performance, but I will be at least attempting to give a pleasing performance within the confines of the situation. Um, I don't have an audience, so you're not getting the audience energy, and I am in an apartment. I kind of like to not piss off my upstairs neighbors. They're, they're pretty good folks, and I don't want to, you know, don't want to mess that up. So, um, so those are the main guidelines of the project. I do have one very important caveat. I'm going to get a little closer for this one. I make absolutely no guarantee that I will be able to recall these pieces on command at events. This is where the realities of my own personal modern memory challenges 
fail me. I am ADHD. I do have pretty significant problems remembering things from moment to moment. Any of you who have seen me for just about anything know how many notes I have, how many alarms I set, just to be able to get myself through the basic day. So if you come up to me at a random event and say, oh, Siobhan, I saw you do this piece on your um, Feely project. You have this memorized, right? Just perform it for me right now. I might not be able to oblige you on that. I will, however, probably have notes somewhere in my vicinity um, so I can quickly look it up and perform it for you in a couple minutes. So with all that in mind, let's get started. <laughs> 